Welcome back to the Way of the Hunter and welcome back to the channel. Today, uh, probably a shorter video uh, focused on helping the newer players with the weapon selection and the zeroing, but it can also help, or help uh, more experienced players as well. And uh, most importantly though, a super secret don't tell anyone secret at the end of the video. And no fast forwarding to the end of the video for the super secret. No, don't be doing that. So first things first, uh, for the newer players, I see them joining all the time on the Discord and getting a few messages on the channel here. I'm just going to do a little quick little rundown through the old computer here on the shop here of some of the weapons. Not all of them, uh, just sort of the main ones to focus on, sort of from easiest to most difficult. Um, and just to kind of sum it up real kind of quick what you should be looking at, just because there are quite a few uh, rifles here. Uh, so for beginners, I know we're kind of going to ignore, you know, meat loss and uh, the price of the weapon, everything like that, just sort of so you can see the difficulty of the weapon and down. Uh, but it's going to go probably what you expect. The most, the easiest weapons to start with, if you can afford them or get to them, right? Um, but once you have all the weapons, these are kind of the easiest. 338. Uh, so the Steyr Carbon there in the 300, of course. Uh, pretty much. Um, I'm going to really ignore the 338, uh, just because it's a bit too easy. It's overpowered for like everything in the game. Uh, pretty much, you can just hit it anywhere in the torso and you're good. Almost the same as the 300, but the 300... No, that's not the 300. What am I looking at here? There we go, the 300 here. Uh, the Steyr SM12 300 is sort of the same thing. Kind of overpowered for everything. Um, but you got to be concerned a little bit about shot placement on the bigger game. Uh, but when you're looking at these two weapons, just because of the, the power they have, uh, for a newer player, if you can afford them and get to them, um, and you just want to down animals easy and sort of ease yourself into the game, uh, get one of these. I do recommend the 300 just to, so you do have to worry a little bit about shot placement uh, for that. Once you start uh, getting used to the game, uh, so we'll just ignore the 338 for now. Uh, 300 as soon as possible, probably. Uh, and when you want to start worrying a bit more about shot placement, get a little bit better at the game, uh, the monoblock is kind of your next choice here. Uh, so on the medium to small game, you don't have to worry about shot placement much at all. Just hit him in the torso so and you're pretty much good. Uh, however, you do have to start uh, practicing a bit better on the larger game. Uh, but with larger game, the lungs are larger and everything like that. Uh, but the monoblock is a little more picky. Uh, when with a uh, larger game with a shot placement so start out with the 300 uh, you know kind of get your uh, legs used to the game and everything like that and then once you start getting comfortable down to the 308 you go and uh, that'll be you know a good right middle of the road weapon uh, to work with um, after that if you really want to start challenging yourself uh, go for the 7 mil uh, that's not the 7 mil 7 mils here the Steyr Pro Hunter 2 um, it is probably the weapon, uh, you know, nice all-purpose, still challenging weapon to use, uh, but can down anything in the game. Uh, so those three rifles there, kind of to sum up, uh, easiest 300, uh, medium difficulty, monoblock, and then the 7 mil. And if you really want to start uh, challenging yourself later on, uh, 223 the scout. So if we ignore the shotguns and ignore the 22 and everything, because there's a few other weapons there, the 30-30 and the 22 are just sort of special weapons on their own. The 30-30 is a short range kind of blunt weapon. Uh, the 22 is just kind of like, you know, just your small game lobbing the shots. The only one that I left out was the 243s here. Um, that basically takes the exact place of the 7 mil, but it's a little more difficult as the cavity damage isn't as high. And, or however, it does have the bonus that the drop is lessened so it is more accurate but just to sum up real quick uh, just you know putting all the knowledge in over the the month that the game's been out with everybody testing and looking at the weapons it may seem obvious to some but not so obvious to others 300 easy mode monoblock medium difficulty 7 mil just worry about those three rifles play around with the other ones uh, if you want and Steyr Scout if you really want the challenge the Steyr Scout can take everything in the game with a single lung even the moose uh, we don't know about brown bear coming up probably not going to be brown bear that's going to be a lot to ask for that I don't think that's going to be possible in the 223 uh, but that is the super difficult mode right there and of course you can bring uh, two uh, rifles with you 
uh, is just uh, want to sum that up real fast here. Now the next uh, thing coming up is the zeroing, because even with experienced players, I'm seeing that they're not quite fully understanding the zeroing um, mechanic in the game a little bit. So I'm going to demonstrate a little bit of it here. Uh, so I do prefer the Transylvania shooting range, and you'll see I got a special kind of setup here for it. Uh, here is the Jeep. I back it right up here because right at the table you can reach the trunk, access all your stuff like this. And then I like jumping up here, and then you can lay down uh, and take a shot at whatever range you like here. The other bonus with uh, focusing on the three rifles that I was telling you about here, um, now my storage has got them a little mixed up here because um, there's a 338 there, the 300's up here. So the 300 uh, in the monoblock and the 7 mil, uh, why am I not seeing the monoblock? Oh, there it is. The monoblock and the 7 mil, they all have the same sort of very similar uh, ballistics on the bullets. So all three of them shoot and drop uh, fairly similar. Uh, so if you focus on those three rifles, um, you don't really need to learn the different trajectories of the bullets. And with this game, you don't really need to worry about too much of the, of the ballistics of the bullets anyways, just because you can change the zeroing on the fly. Uh, but for newer players, I definitely recommend always making shots 200 meters or less, 250 max, really. You can push 300 if you like. Um, but at the 200 meters, what some people are getting confused with, if I just kind of lay down here, I've got the, the highest power zoom scope on here, but it's actually... Not a very good one because of the big Christmas tree kind of reticle here. Um, I always just play at the 100 meter zero mark because if you, I, I rarely shoot beyond 200. Even if I shoot 250, it's not a too much um, like to to worry about. Uh, I think people get it in their head that they got to get that zeroing right. They got to sort it out. Uh, people think if the zeroing's off just a little bit, they're gonna totally throw the shot. Um, so that's some of the confusion that's out there that kind of keeps popping up. And I just want to demonstrate, because uh, I always keep it at 100 meters zero. And at the 200 meter range, um, if you're just looking at the rifles I'm talking about here, um, right here, if I shoot right on that bullseye, now there's a bit of wind to the left, so it's going to pull a little bit. I'm just going to do a quick little grouping, and I'm going to show you. Uh, as long as you don't have the zeroing way off, I mean, you can just keep it at 100 and not really worry about it and if that the 200 you just have to lift a little bit uh, but I'm just going to show you just a basic grouping here of just shooting right right on the bullseye of here here that's a little high oh, that's a little high too so we'll keep that in mind while I'm running around out there all right so what we need to do is why well, I got the Jeep here one of my tips here, we're going to jump in the vehicle real quick, and you got to drive out there real fast before the bullets disappear. Uh, so I don't know if there's a setting in there that makes them last longer. I'm not too sure, because my graphic settings are fairly high. Uh, but if we go flying out here, slam on the brakes, uh, we can jump out. All right, so it might be hard to see in the video, I'm not too sure. Um, most of the shots were actually a little above the bullseye, but see how that one fell right down into the heart? Uh, that's kind of the drop you're looking at, sort of in between... Uh, sort of in between right here. Uh, so that's zeroed at 100 meters, and that's 200 meters out. Uh, so even if you get the zeroing off, you're still going to hit the heart if you're aiming right mid-torso. Like, it's not that much of a drop. I'm hearing people, um, like, people are aiming mid-torso, and um, if they miss the shot, um, there's usually other reasons for it, and uh, there's actually a, a, a glitch in the game where, like, the hitbox won't work. Uh, things like that, but some people are saying it's because their zeroing's all off. Uh, there's no way you're only you're only losing a few inches um, of drop over that over the zeroing difference of 100 to 200. Uh, so I just want to get that kind of uh, pointed out there that if you're shooting 200 meters or less, you can just keep it at the 100 meters, and then man, I'm getting some frame hiccups here. Uh, you can just keep it at the the 100 meter zero. Just lift a little bit, you'll be fine. Now we're just gonna reverse. Reverse the Jeep back into position here. I think I'm getting the frame, frame hip, hiccups because I'm recording. I think that's probably why it is. I don't normally get them here, but this map seems to like to hiccup a bit. Uh, that's just why I keep it parked right there, just so you can be right out real quick to uh, to watch that uh, or to go out and check the uh, grouping.
All right, so we're going to do, we're going to light up this deer again at 200 meters, but basically just play for the drop and play the wind. Just a bit uh, left of the wind, so we just got to aim a tad to the right and a little high. We should be able to bullseye fairly well. So this is with the zeroing completely off. You can see where I'm aiming. You can see why it's not going to matter that much if your zeroing's off. Uh, when you're under 200 meters, even 250 out. Uh, once you get long distance shooting, then the zeroing def definitely matters, unless you really know how to play the drop. Uh, but we'll just do that now. So we're going to just aim top of the lung, and we should do fairly well in the bullseye. So that was right on the spot. And there you go, 200 meters out. And the ballistic should be fairly similar uh, to each of the right I was telling you about. The 7 mil, 308, and the 300. So we're going to jump back in real quick and go check that out. So that was zeroed at 100 at 200 meters. That's not a big deal. Just lift up a little bit. Uh, um, and you can take out the worry of, of zeroing wrong. I don't even have to worry about it. So we'll slam on the brakes. Looks like one of them was high. Still within the lung. Others are just right down that middle spot. Ah, uh, but now you say you've been listening to me jibber-jabber so long. Uh, just about the zeroing and the weapons. You want to know what the super secret is? I'll go show you the super secret here. So we're going to go this way. Go over here. If you ever wanted um, a good spot to practice long-range shooting, or did you want, you know, just a bit more distance on that shooting range, uh, well, what you need to do, remember, don't tell anybody this, you take the little Jeep here, you're going to want to back it up. Back it up to this step here. Not right up against it, probably just about there. And then if you do it right, I'm not sure I'm going to record the whole thing because I might throw out my thumb here trying to jump. Uh, from this angle, you can get up on the hood. I think you got to jump. I did this a few times, but uh, see if I can get it here. Uh, you jump up on kind of on the left side of the hood, I think it is. It'll work. I'll watch it not work for the video. but You just kind of mash the button here a bunch. And then he'll kind of get it. I might uh, cut the video till I get it here. Uh, but it doesn't kind of matter where you... Oh, see, I almost had it there. Maybe it's the, uh, the side here. Oh, come on. I almost did it. Come on, River, get up there. So it is a little tricky. I've got to cut and just do it for a second here. Okay, I got it here. You got to... Man, the, the stutters I got right now. Uh, you got to do the old jump and spin. There you go, and then you can catch it. So off that step, spin around, and then up we go. And then this is one other tricky little part, but it shouldn't be too bad. Kind of hammer away on the jump button here, and River will eventually kind of glitch up. There we go. All right, ignoring all the little frame drops. Now, uh, the longer I record on this map, uh, the worse it gets. But then you're up on the roof here. So if you did want to practice... Uh, doing some longer shots you can't really see the longest target up here because of the tree but if you come down here you can get about a 700 uh, or 700 270 meter shot here uh, so we'll just pull out the old 7 mil we'll load it up we'll see what kind of drop is there so I'm gonna shoot oh probably won't show in the video but kind of right at the top where that hit? You know what? That still landed lung. Front lung. So up here. Even at 270 meters, that caught bottom lung. And that caught uh, that caught just above the heart. You have to take my word for it. You can't see the video on the video there. But that's kind of what you're looking at the drop. Uh, so they're all landing into the lung. Uh, that much lift, 270, 100 uh, meter zero. Uh, the other super secret is from up here. Uh, you got all this view, and you can see piggies uh, 900 meters or so out. I guess that's where my render is, where the vegetation stops. I'm not actually sure. But I, actually, I did see one about 900 out here. Uh, so if you want to pra practice shooting at the piggies. Uh, oh, there's one right there. 955. Uh, nice little spot up here. If you can manage uh, that little trick to get up on the uh, lodge here. Oh, and you ha if you have the DLC, you can always try and see. I don't think I've done it yet. You can jump and try and get on the back of the statue. No, all right. I keep trying to do that, but I can't. Uh, so it looks a little ridiculous, but that's where you park your Jeep. And then, uh, just as a refresher, if you practice with it, that shouldn't be too hard. I think you keep the shift on. You just kind of jump and spin. It'll, it'll, it'll take a little bit. 
Jump and spin. Um. Yeah, there we go. You'll you'll catch it there. Uh, and that's how you do that. The other way I was doing it was I was parking the Jeep um, right at this window here, and then getting up the back the normal way. Um, I guess I'll show that just real quick. So if that way wasn't working for you, and you really want to get up here, you can just kind of you gotta snug it right up against this wall here, right here, right like right chair. Right oh, oh, it's kind of stuck. Uh, that should be good. And you just do the normal thing like I did in the other Jeep tip video. Uh, you jump on the back and swing it to the right a little bit, hammer that space bar, and then you're up. Uh, this one is not so successful. Um, you just sort of, your, your hand will get tired on the jump key. But if you keep hammering away at that, you'll eventually glitch up on the roof. Um, but I don't really have the definite trick for it. Um, sometimes when I like look down, you'll get up there, or up or something like that, you'll kind of glitch out a little bit, but, well not glitch out, but he kind of catches, I'm not too sure what he catches on. Uh, that way it can work too, it's just not so reliable. Uh, that way he's a, a bit better there. And then I haven't figured this out, but um, like you might be able to use this if you're having trouble. You can jump up on the sign here, and then you can try and jump on the Jeep that way too. Uh, a bunch of little ways, just a neat little thing. I found there just to try and make uh, make it uh, a longer distance shooting range. Uh, but without any further ado, I guess, I think that's all the video for now. I just wanted to put out that nice little guide. Well, hopefully you find it helpful anyways about, uh, you know, making the firearms a bit more simpler and, and just showing that the under 200 meters, the zeroing doesn't matter too much. Just lift up a little bit uh, and, and don't uh, don't worry about it too much getting the zeroing wrong. All right, well, I think that is it. So thank you very much for uh, watching. Hopefully that helps, and uh, take care.